Hello, McLaughlin families. My name is Julia Dudley, and I am the principal here at MAC. I'm here today to share some important information for the upcoming school year. We're going to talk about some important dates that are coming up, uh, drop-off and pick-up, schedules, some school-wide expectations, attendance, meals, laptops, who our support staff are, and social media. So some important dates um, for athletic practices for 7th and 8th grade. Football starts on Monday, August 21st, and um, volleyball, soccer, and cross country start on the 22nd. We're going to have open house this year before school on um, Monday, August 28th um, from 4 to 7. So you can come, um, get your schedule, meet your teachers, um, do all those things, learn about um, sports and clubs. We will have um, ASB open so you can purchase PE uniforms, uh, yearbooks, ASB, those types of things. Um, we will have printed schedules. Uh, we are asking if you have access to your schedule on PowerSchool. You don't. You won't have to stay in the schedule line. It'll be the same schedule. But if you do want a printed schedule, we will have those available. Um, and then the first day of school, we're very excited. Uh, sixth grade, Tuesday, August 29th. And seventh and eighth graders start on Wednesday, August 30th. And then our picture day um, is going to be September 14th. And we will have picture day packets at open house. Um, or your student can pick them up in the main office. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about drop off and pick up. So if you are dropping off your student for school, they're not riding the bus, please drop them off by 730 to ensure that they're on time for class. Um, that gives them time to get breakfast and to make their way um, to their class. And then um, please encourage your child to use the appropriate crosswalks um, and be safe in our parking lot. Um, this is a picture uh, from above of our campus and you can see the two red lines are our drop off areas. Um, we're really trying to discourage parents from parking on the other side of the street and dropping their kids off. Um, we're finding that that is leading to kids starting out between cars um, and some unsafe things. So what we'd really like is for parents to use those red drop-offs. If your child is coming from the other side of the street on Road 88, there's that green crosswalk. We're going to ask them to use, all the students to use that crosswalk on Road 88. And please do not drop your students off on the other side on Livingston because there is no crosswalk and it is heavy traffic at school drop-off times. Um, this is our sixth grade schedule. I'm not going to go through it, but if you want to pause um, and take a picture, this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wait, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on one side, and then Thursday on the other side. We do release early on Thursdays at 1.35 to allow our teachers to collaborate. Um, and so sixth grade, kind of pause for a second, um, seventh grade. and eighth grade. Okay, and that 32 minute that's at a different time for each grade level, that is an advisory class. Um, they have advisory on Mondays and then they go um, to other areas and I'll talk about that in our September updates. So here at MAC, everything is built around being safe, responsible, and respectful. Um, those are our school-wide expectations. For the first two um, to three weeks of school, our students during advisory get lessons called MAC 101, um, and those review all of our school-wide expectations so they know what to expect. Um, we have Panther Paws, where we acknowledge our students for meeting those expectations, and the Panther Store is open every Friday. So any staff member um, can give students Panther Paws um, when they're doing the right thing uh, to acknowledge them, and then we have the store open every Friday, and there's lots of great stuff. Um, I think the most popular item last year was Hot Cheetos, so um, lots of great stuff at the Panther Store. Um, we do have a, a strict cell phone policy here at MAC. We moved to this about midway through last year towards the end, um, and we found it made a significant difference in our campus. We ask that students keep their cell phones in their backpacks from the moment that they arrive on campus. So when there's a gate that students go through um, to go into the breakfast area, once they go through that gate, their back their phone needs to be put away um, until the dismissal bell rings. So once that bell rings, then they can take their phone back out. Um, starting this year, we're also asking that students only use corded headphones. Wireless headphones and AirPods should also be kept in the backpack. Um, and so they absolutely, if your student needs to listen to music, they can. They just need to be wearing corded headphones that are plugged into their school laptop. Um, if your student has their phone out, uh, first time we confiscate the phone, and they can pick it up at the end of the day in the office. Um, there's a whole system where we do that. They have you know padded envelopes they put the phone into. 
go straight to the office. Um, the second time we do ask an adult picks it up. So there's no warnings. Um, the first day we'll be letting students know as they come on campus, um, but we don't warn. It's not like you get five warnings each day. So right away we'll be taking the phone. So please make sure that your student knows that they need to keep their cell phone and earbud and the wireless earbuds put away. I will say um, AirPods were probably the number one lost item at McLaughlin. So if I had a student um, here, I would not allow them to bring AirPods to school because they are they just constantly get lost um, here at school. Um, and the why, the why for this policy, um, we really feel um, that having time to disconnect from their phones, from social media, um, helps them be more focused at school. It improves their academic performance. We found that when we took phones away during lunch, our students talked to each other more. They interacted. They made friends. Um, we had students that said, you know, I just sit on my phone during lunch because I don't have any friends. Well, after that, we saw that they started to reach out and talk to people. Um, there's some pretty significant research around depression, anxiety at the middle level with increased phone usage. And so we found that students have reported that they feel safer, um, less stressed because they don't have to manage the phone on top of everything else during the school day. Um, and then improved school safety. The, our phones are um, used sometimes to, to bully students, to post things. And so um, just shutting that down during the school day, we found really, really makes our campus safer. Some other important policies I just want parents to be aware of. Um, we do not allow highly caffeinated beverages, so energy drinks or coffees we don't allow students to have here at MAC. Um, it's become a distraction and it's not um, healthy really is the bigger issue. And so um, we just ask that you not have your student bring those items. Uh, if you need to drop your students off lunch, that's totally okay. You can drop that off or anyone on your contacts um, who's approved for your student, but we do not allow um, deliveries from DoorDash or Uber Eats. We just don't have the capacity to support that. Um, and we don't want strangers coming on our campus, um, dropping off things for students. It's a safety issue. And then we don't allow stuffed animals or blankets at McLaughlin. We just feel like it's this middle school, it's no longer elementary school, so we ask that they keep their stuffed animals and blankets at home. Um, attendance, please. Uh, t daily attendance is important. We realize there's reasons why you need to miss school, um, but we ask that you please avoid scheduling vacations and appointments during the school day whenever possible. Um, this is kind of a shift. During COVID, we were really accommodating. Um, now it's, it is um, difficult when you miss class to be able to get caught up. Um, important learning happens each day at, during school. Um, so like I said, makeup work will be provided. We'll do our best to accommodate, but it's not the same as being in class. So we do discourage, if possible, um, scheduling vacations and appointments during the school day. If you have something going on with your student or they're going to be missing school regularly for whatever reason, um, please reach out to their school counselor just so we can make sure we have the right supports in place. And um, meals, all students receive free breakfast and lunch at MAC. Um, and a really important detail is that if your student's late to school, they can still receive breakfast until we serve our first lunch. Um, and so just have them go up to the cafeteria window um, and they'll be able to get um, fruit, a granola bar, um, whatever they, they need for breakfast. So just making sure that you know that your students receive free breakfast and lunch. And then laptops, all of our students receive a laptop. Um, please help us make sure your student charges their laptop each night and brings their charger cord to school. Just make sure that they can use their laptop during the school day. And then our laptops are covered by insurance um, because, you know, at the middle level, things happen. Kids will, most common thing is um, kids will put a pencil in their laptop and close it and it will break the screen. And that's totally covered. Um, the only uh, thing is it must be kept in the school provided case. So sometimes we see students with them not in the case and if they drop it and it breaks, it's not provided and it'll be a cost on the family. So please make sure your student keeps their laptop in the school provided case. And um, Incoming sixth graders will be receiving their laptops on the first day of school, I think, or it might be the second on the 30th. Um, I also just, we are seeing increased rates of need around mental health. Um, and so I just wanted to make you aware here in the Pasco School District, we have opportunity for Hazel Health. Um, this is teletherapy um, that is no cost to you. So if you're interested, um, you can use that QR code to sign up um, or you can reach out to your child's school counselor if you feel like that's something they need. They can do it at home um, or they can do it during the school day. Um, but it's helpful if your child's struggling with anxiety, um, with friendships, um, with something going on in the home. It's just a great resource. And we find that our students um, who have that, you know, they perform better in school and are more connected. So we'd love to have that if you need it. And then um, these are all of our support staff. So just making sure this is another like side you might 
you might want to um, keep track of or if you have any questions. So our school counselors, um, we have sixth grade, Miss Rebel, seventh grade, um, Miss Banta, and eighth grade, Miss Overturf. And then our assistant principal split the school um, A through L, Andrew Traver, and M through Z, Carrie Britton. So if you have any questions about your student, you could email their counselor, you could email the assistant principal if you have a concern or question. Um, for attendance, if you're excusing attendance, you can email MacAttendance at psd1.org, um, or you can call the front office. Um, our nurse is Tara Martell, our librarian, and if you have any um, uh, laptop pieces, librarian often helps with that, um, Teresa Wiley, and then athletics, um, Heidi Witt and Beth Harrington. So just some names um, if you have questions. And then this is our social media. Um, we have Facebook and Instagram. Um, the Facebook, I think, is more directed at parents and the Instagram is directed more at students. Um, we also have Class Dojo where you post everything. Um, so I encourage you to follow all those things just so you know what's going on here at Mac. And then that that is our video. We're excited to see your students. Um, we're hoping to see you at open house on August 28th. Thank you.